To our other big story tonight. And there were about 20 officers behind him. I was asked then to leave the uh, Norwalk Police Department. Lawmaker claims a Norwalk officer spat at him while others asked him to leave police headquarters. Senate Majority Leader Bob Duff says the incident happened back in July. Channel 3 Adventist News reporter Shante Passmore reports the department is reviewing those allegations. Senate Majority Leader Bob Duff says the Norwalk Police Department needs to do some soul searching and come up with solutions benefiting the community after he experienced what he calls was a showdown of bullying and intimidation. July 24th, the day the House passed the police accountability bill. It's also when State Senator Bob Duff tells me he experienced backlash. An officer who I've known for a long time looked at me um, and then spit at me. The legislator claims the incident happened at Norwalk Police Department following a meeting with the police union. Prior to it, Duff alleges he faced expletives. Later, he says up to 20 officers charged into the meeting with questions. Afterwards, he spoke privately to an officer outside, and that's when Duff says someone else spit at him before being surrounded by more officers. The department's top brass tells Eyewitness News he met with Duff Friday. In part, he wrote, Although the accounts of what occurred differ somewhat, there is no question that an officer spitting on the ground in a sign of disrespect is completely unacceptable. The chief further said the incident is under review. If they would treat um, somebody who looks like me, uh, the Senate Majority Leader, and somebody who has the public platform that I do, what are they doing when the cameras aren't on? The lawmaker believes his colleagues also face tension from other law enforcement during police reform talks. The police chief tells Eyewitness News the involved officer agreed to meet with Duff. Right now, the state senator says he's waiting to see what actions the police chief will take and from there determine if those steps are appropriate or not. In Norwalk tonight, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.